one last scripture Matthew chapter 10 and then we'll pray Matthew chapter 10 and then we'll pray two people will run under the anointing just bring them out and just keep them here I want to prophesy to them Matthew chapter 10 I just saw light just two people bring them verse 1 then we'll go to 7 and 8 and when he had called unto him the 12 disciples he gave them power against not to cooperate with the power is not for cooperation no that anywhere you find this spirit there is power against against unclean spirits the assignment of that power is that by it you will cast them out and then number two you will heal a variety of sicknesses and all manner of diseases he gave them power he said gentlemen don't go alone you will need this ability on your way you will meet spirits that are not the holy ghost anywhere you find them no discussion no negotiation get them out of the way and when you get them out of the way give me verse please go back to verse one again it says when you get them out of the way do not forget that they have left an effect in the body of the victims the spirit may have gone, but the sickness that it has caused, while it was there, it ate your liver. While it was there, it ate a part of your body. So the exit of the spirit is not all there is. It says, heal the various problems that your presence caused. Jesus gave us that command. Unclean spirits. The moment you see them, remember, you were giving something against them. Power. Against unclean spirits. The power is not your own. You were giving stewardship over it. So you don't need to be afraid. The one who gave you tested it before giving you. You're, you're not here hoping. It's not something that you made up that you are testing. You were given. A man can receive nothing, my brothers and my sisters, except it is given to him. power over unclean spirits it says with that power you cast them out with that power heal all manner of sicknesses listen the healing ministry is a real ministry is a ministry whose validity can be proven here and now that an infirmity in your body in a moment the moment you find it gone don't ask an unwise question how did it go power was given from heaven It takes more than mere words. There is an ability of the spirit that heals the sick. And all manner of diseases. Poverty is a disease. Retrogression is a disease. It may not be a bodily infirmity, but it takes away your ease. Anything that does not give you rest is a disease. Are we blessed? Verse 7. As ye go, preach, saying, the influence, the dominion of heaven has come. At hand means it's within your reach. It's not a reality you have to hope one day. It has come to you. This is what the Bible calls the mystery of godliness. That God is now manifest in the flesh. The reality of God can be felt in the midst of his people. You can taste and see that the Lord is good. Verse 8. Prove that what you are teaching is true. By healing the sick. By cleansing the lepers. By raising the dead. By casting out demons. It says spare not. When you are afraid and it looks like the power will end, remember you were giving it freely. Don't mise it. Use it judiciously when it has to do with casting out devils. Don't do it as if God gave you a bottle of power. It's not a bottle of anointing oil. This is power that resides in heaven. Freely you have received. Freely you have received. Be lavish when you are dispensing it. When a family is oppressed, don't solve one problem and leave the rest. The power is sufficient. Grace, take that power. New dimension in the spirit. Take that power. 
new dimension in the spirit. Take that power. Take that anointing. Take that power. Take that power. This is an impartation. I release that grace upon you. Power against unclean spirits. He gave them power. He gave them power. The Bible is not a lie. It does not tell lies. He gave them power. When he gave the power, he knew your condition would come. He gave them power over unclean spirits. Power over retrogression. Power over unfavorable situations. Listen, without this power, even if you have the message, you are not an effective messenger. It is the message and the backing that makes the messenger effective. Don't understand the message alone. The message without the backing makes you look like a liar. Listen. One prayer point before I begin to minister. Father, this power from on high, let it be effective in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. It takes both the message and the power. The message and the power. The messenger is not effective just because of the message, the message and the power. The message of prosperity and the power to prosper. The message of healing and the power to heal. The message of lifting and the grace that lifts. The message of restoration and the unction that restores. as I pray right now the fire of God is falling here and there are people under all kinds of yokes I want you to bring them out father as your people shout that name hear me at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus and every spirit that is not of Christ God gave us power again power to stop their own operation the bible says for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy liquidate and delay the works of darkness are you ready at the count of three for you and your family one two three shout jesus, jesus! Every power that is not of Christ, I come against you. On clean spirit, no of darkness. Be gone now. Be gone now. Be gone now. Bring them out. Bring them out. 
Ramateria Kali Prakata. He Kalabakosa. He Mapeti Kabaya. King of Kings. Hey. Lord of Lords. 